Rosfeld, 30, got choked up and dabbed away tears as he recounted finding the mortally wounded Rose on the ground. I was upset, shocked, Rosfeld said. He was moaning, trying to breathe. The former officer testified after the prosecution rested its case earlier Thursday. Prosecutors said Rosfeld gave inconsistent statements about the shooting, including whether he thought Rose had a gun. A prosecution witness has said that after the shooting, he heard Rosfeld say repeatedly, I don't know why I shot him. I don't know why I fired. But another prosecution witness said he heard the officer ask, why did he do that? Why did he take that out of his pocket? Rosfeld fired three bullets into Rose after pulling over an unlicensed taxi he suspected correctly, as it turned out to have been involved in a drive-by shooting. Rose, a passenger in the car, was shot in the back, arm, and side of his face as he fled. Rosfeld followed proper procedure that day, according to defense witness Clifford W. Job Jr., a retired state trooper and use of force expert. I can't fault Officer Rosfeld, said Job, calling the officer's actions textbook. The trial will resume Friday with Job back on the stand for cross-examination. Rosfeld testified the car that Rose was riding in had its rear windshield shot out. He chirped his siren and turned on his police lights, and the driver complied and pulled over. Rosfeld said he got out of his car with his gun drawn and ordered the driver to the ground. That's when he said Rose and another occupant, Zaijun Hester, jumped out of the car. Rose had been riding in the front seat of the cab when Hester, in the back seat, rolled down a window and shot at two men on the street, hitting one in the abdomen. Hester, 18, pleaded guilty last week to aggravated assault and firearms violations. Hester told a judge that he, not Rose, did the shooting. Earlier Thursday, Judge Alexander Bickett rejected a defense motion to acquit Rosfeld on the murder counts he faces. What we have is a police officer doing his duty. There's not a hardness of heart required for first, or third degree murder, Tomasi argued in court. We have a burst of three shots in one second on a fleeing felon and we're going to charge him with murder? It's not fair. Prosecutor Daniel Fitzsimmons said the fact that Rosfeld shot a fleeing rose in the back was evidence of malice, and the judge ruled the murder counts would stand Rosfeld's decision to testify wasn't unusual. At least three other white officers charged in the on-duty fatal shootings of black people have taken the witness stand in recent years. In October, a Chicago jury convicted former officer Jason Van Dyke of murder in the shooting death of teenager Laquan McDonald. After the trial, jurors said Van Dyke's testimony hurt his defense. Van Dyke got fewer than seven years in prison. An officer in Balch Spring, Texas, was convicted of murder last August and sentenced to 15 years after a jury didn't buy his explanation that he was trying to protect his partner when he fired into a car full of black teenagers, striking a 15-year-old. And in 2017, a former South Carolina patrolman was sentenced to 20 years in prison for killing an unarmed motorist. The officer pleaded guilty to federal civil rights charges following a state trial at which he testified and the jury deadlocked. Associated Press writer Claudia Lauer in Philadelphia contributed to this story.